A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Woe to Assyria, my rod in anger, my staff in wrath. Against an impious nation I send him, and against a people under my wrath I order him to seize plunder, carry off loot, and tread them down like the mud of the streets. But this is not what he intends nor does he have this in mind. Rather, it is in his heart to destroy, to make an end of nations, not a few. For he says, By my own power I have done it, and by my wisdom, for I am shrewd. I have moved the boundaries of peoples, their treasures I have pillaged, and, like a giant, I have put down the enthroned, my hand has seized like a nest the riches of nations. As one takes eggs left alone, 
so I took in all the earth. No one fluttered a wing or opened a mouth or chirped. Will the axe boast against him who hews with it? Will the saw exalt itself above him who wields it? As if a rod could sway him who lifts it, or a, a staff him who is not wood. Therefore the Lord, the Lord of hosts, will send among his fat ones leanness, and instead of his glory there will be a kindling like the kindling of fire. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will not abandon his people. The Lord will not abandon his people. Your people, O Lord, they trample down. Your inheritance they afflict. Window, widow and stranger they slay. The fatherless they murder. And they say, the Lord sees not, the God of Jacob perceives not. Understand, you senseless ones among the people, and you fools, when will you be wise? The Lord will not abandon his people. Shall he who shaped the ear not hear, or he who formed the eye not see? Shall he who instructs nations not chastise? He who teaches men knowledge. The Lord will not abandon his people. For the Lord will not cast off his people, nor abandon his inheritance. But judgment shall again be with justice, and all the upright of heart shall follow it. The Lord will not abandon his people. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to the little ones the mysteries of the King. be with you. And A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. At that time Jesus exclaimed, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to, to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father. And no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Jesus reveals our Heavenly Father. Jesus tells us about God, and he can do that because Jesus is God. He is the Word made flesh, the God-man who became our Savior. Therefore, if we want to know God, we should do our best to know Jesus. We should develop our relationship with him and strive to have a deep and personal friendship with him. We cannot simply know about Jesus. We must know Jesus. We cannot simply know about him. We must know him. So how can we get to know Jesus better? By worshiping him. 
because he is God and we worship God and God alone. By spending time with him, especially at Mass and at Eucharistic Adoration, by having a conversation with him, talking to him, and then listening to what he has to say to you, by reading the Word of God, by reading the Bible, because Jesus is the Word made flesh, by talking about Jesus with others, by discussing Jesus with others, we all know about Bible study. Maybe you can have a Jesus study. Talk about Jesus. You can learn more about Jesus and you can get to know him better by studying his teachings and learning more about his church, the Catholic Church, the one holy Catholic and apostolic church. You can ask the Holy Spirit to teach you about Jesus. You can ask the people who know Jesus to teach you and tell you about Jesus. And who knows Jesus? The saints in heaven. They know Jesus. So you can ask Saint Joseph to help you learn more about Jesus. He was his earthly father and he was with him from the time he was conceived, unborn, and by the time he grew up. You can also ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, to tell you about Jesus, her son, because Mary is the perfect woman, the perfect person who knows Jesus better than any human person knows Jesus. She has known him from the first moment of his conception. She was with him all his life and is now with him in heaven. Mary can help you know Jesus better and we must know Jesus. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Bonaventure. And Saint Bonaventure, as I mentioned, wrote many, many beautiful things. And one of the things he said was, if you learn everything except Jesus, you learn nothing. If you learn nothing except Jesus, you learn everything. Beautiful quote from St. Bonaventure to remind us of the importance and the necessity of knowing Jesus. We also remember that in the end, Jesus himself says that in the scripture, he tells us not everyone who says, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. And he says some will come to him and say, what do you mean? We did things in your name. We, we did these things in your name. And he's going to say, I never knew you. Depart from me. I never knew you. We can't just go around acting like Christians. We must be Christians. We cannot just act like we know Jesus. We have to know Jesus. And so we must do everything we can to learn about him. And Our Lady can teach us about Jesus. And so we should develop our relationship with her. Again, St. Bonaventure said, I have never read of any saint who did not have a special devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. The saints know the importance of Mary and we need to know that importance too. And when we follow Jesus, when we strive to know and follow Jesus, we will get persecuted. We will get attacked by the evil one and by his soldiers. But again, St. Bonaventure tells us that Our Lady is there to help us. He says, Men do not fear a powerful, hostile army as the powers of hell Fear the name and protection of Mary. Our Lady strikes fear in the demons because she is the queen of the angels. She is the mother of God. She is the most perfect person. And so hell trembles before her name. So let us this day resolve to do something that will help us learn more about Jesus. Let us resolve to grow in our devotion of Mary 
especially by praying the rosary, asking her to help us and protect us as we follow Jesus, who is leading us on the narrow way as we make our way to heaven. Saint Bonaventure, pray for us. For the church, to whom Jesus has chosen to reveal the knowledge of his heavenly Father, that we may be grateful and responsive to his surpass, for this surpassing gift, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That powerful nations may understand that they are not only instruments in the hand of God, but that their strength and wisdom are his gifts, that they will see them according to his will. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who are wise and learned in the ways of the world may change and become like little children in their hearts, so that the secrets of God's heavenly kingdom may be revealed to them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Jesus, who has received all things from the hand of his Father, may come with his riches of grace and healing to all who are in need of these blessings. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, that our blessed mother may be their guide and light across the waters of purification until they reach the promised shores of heavenly bliss. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The intentions for today's Mass are for the repose of the soul of Juan Gonzalez, for the repose of the soul of Josh Garza, for the repose of the soul of Mario Hernandez, for the repose of the soul of Maria Cristina Martinez, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us ask Our Lady to help us to know what we can do this day to learn more about Jesus and to grow in our knowledge of Jesus so that we cannot simply know about him, but know him. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All of this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread that we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine that we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, and will be accepted by you, O Lord. Your sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Friends, 
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good all of us over the earth. Look with favor, O Lord, we pray, on the offerings we set upon this altar on the feast of blessed Bonaventure, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with and your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We will lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. And just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Bonaventure, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son of the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son of the highest. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gustavo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and 
may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And give us not into temptation, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Thank you, Spirit. Let us offer each other some sign of our peace. Peace be with you, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Ever. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy to take the earth under my roof, but the only saving word in my soul shall be called you. May the body of Christ be saved for Christ.
Let us pray. Renewed by the sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of Blessed Bonaventure, we may strive to profess that what profess we may strive to profess what he believed and to practice what he taught through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our scripture today reminds us of many things, but one of the things that it tells us and teaches us is the importance of Jesus because he reveals the Father. He is God incarnate and he tells us about God. And so it's very important for us to know Jesus, to know him in a personal way. And many of you, or most of you, know Jesus. And that's beautiful. Now your job is to help others know him too. That's called evangelization. And you can do that in many ways, and the Holy Spirit will help you and guide you as to what you can do. You'll get those little inspirations to send out an email or a text or to call someone or to write a note or to do something to help somebody else get closer to Jesus. And it can be very simple. You can send out a text of Scripture, a verse of Scripture. You can send out a holy image. You can give somebody a holy card, a miraculous medal, a rosary. You can pray 
there's a lot of things you can do to help others know Jesus, as well as help ourselves to know him. And one of the best things we can do to tell people about is the Holy Eucharist, the real, true presence of Jesus here with us, the Holy Eucharist. As I guarantee you, there are many people who don't know this beautiful gift that Jesus has given to us and left to us, his presence with us always. I will never leave you, he says, and he never does. Here he is. Tell people about the Holy Eucharist. Tell people about the presence of Christ here. Tell them. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God, St. Michael the Archangel. Defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against us. May God be with you in the humble grave, and the God of things that have ever been close, by the power of God, cast it to the Lord's Satan and all the evil spirits who crawl out the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. Though the mountains may fall and the hills turn to dust, yet the love Sing the praise in the glory.